speak this time, I'm very happy to yield three minutes to our hardworking new uh, ranking member of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, my friend from San Diego, Mr. Issa. The gentleman from California is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I think that my colleague from California, almost every day, Government, the Government Accountability Office, Inspector General, and Inspector Generals issue a report identifying waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement. The federal government is large, and we can use all the help we can get. Unfortunately, these important re reports often go unread. They fall without test testimony on deaf ears, and Congress does little or nothing about it. I welcome the fact, Mr. Speaker, today that we are setting a baseline a starting point for oversight by the authorization committees. I'm pleased to serve on the committee that has broad jurisdiction. And by agreement uh, with the Rules Committee and with the leadership of Chairman Towns, we have secured the fact that nothing in this rules change would limit the unlimited jurisdiction to of, over, of the uh, Committee on Oversight and Reform to, in fact, look at these same uh, reports and hold hearings on any one or any 13,000 of these uh, uh, various remaining uh, claims as the Bush administration leaves. Mr. Speaker, I want to speak uh, particularly to Mr. Tanner's uh, statement, which I think was appropriate and should be dealt with. During the Bush administration, 98,000 such findings came out of the GAO and the IGs. 13,000 were not dealt with during that administration, roughly a 14% leftover. I look forward to the fact that the Government Oversight and Reform Committee will have the help of all the authorization committees to look into those. And I look forward to working on a bipartisan basis both within the Committee of Primary Oversight and with each of the committees of jurisdiction, because I think it's important that as we allow a new administration to set goals, we deal with all of the leftovers, the 13,000 that perhaps would have been taken care of in the ordinary course, but now need to be quickly uh, looked at so the new administration can get on to uh, its agendas. And of course, as time goes on, I suspect that we will be looking at failures that occur on the new president's watch. I look forward to working with the gentleman from California on a bipartisan basis to deal with the remaining roughly 14 percent of those that occurred on President Bush's watch. I look forward to this legislation. I once again commend Chairman Towns for his work to make sure that, uh, that the Committee of Primary uh, Oversight is not limited by this resolution. We've been assured that it isn't. And with that, I thank the gentleman from California and yield, yield back. The gentleman from California.